Since I began my slow fashion journey, I've liked to look back at my purchases from the last year and see how I did. You can watch my 2019 video linked up above, which was my first year really trying to be more intentional about the clothes I buy. I definitely wasn't perfect, but I think I did a pretty decent job that year. This year, I tried to be even more committed, especially as I've learned more about the fashion industry and even become an advocate for sustainable and ethical fashion. So here's a look at all the clothes I bought this year for full transparency. This jacket was my first purchase of the year in February, and it was by far the worst. It was totally an impulse buy as I went into Target to get floss and browse the clothes for fun just to see what was trending, and I saw this jacket for only $30. I left the store for a few hours to study in a nearby cafe and decided that I still wanted the jacket, so I came back to get it. I definitely didn't need it, but I rationalized that I'd use it for a long time, and since I now have it, I will definitely be wearing it for as long as possible. My next purchase was in June, and I got this pair of body-shaped earrings on Etsy. I later realized though that the same design was all over fast fashion sites and also offered by other Etsy sellers. Etsy has a big problem with mass-produced items, even though the platform was intended for small creators. I actually talk about this in a previous video and blog post. I now know that I need to be really careful when I'm buying from Etsy. I got a pair of running shoes in August from Brooks. There are unfortunately not a ton of ethical and sustainable options for running shoes yet, but Brooks is one of the better options. I also like to buy lightly used Brooks on eBay when I can find them, but I did get these new. I also got another pair of running shoes later in the year at a local running store sale, but I ended up giving them to my mom. After that, I got another pair of earrings on Etsy in September, but I made sure that they were actually handmade by a small creator this time. I absolutely love this design. They're vulva slash vagina shaped, but I think they're pretty subtle and some people don't notice. I just couldn't wait for people to compliment them and I respond by saying, thanks, they're vaginas. <laughs> I ended up posting about these on TikTok since I was so excited about them and the seller was so happy that she sent me two more pairs as a gift. I love the others as well and I wear them regularly. In October, I got a pair of sustainable sneakers from a Canadian startup called Projects & Co. They reached out to me to work with them and I did a blog review for them. I always like having a pair of plain white sneakers and I used to buy the $20 canvas shoes from Target that would always fall apart, so I'm happy to have a pair that's more sustainable and will hopefully last longer. On the topic of sponsorships though, I really try to only take the ones that align with my values and are products that I'll actually use and are ones that pay me fairly. This was the only sponsorship I took this year. I turned down most brands and many also ghosted me after I asked them about their sustainability or after I told them that I don't accept product as payment. I just wanted to share this because there's a lot of behind the scenes thought that goes into these sponsorships and I try to limit these because my goal isn't to acquire more stuff or to encourage consumption, but I also want to highlight brands that have these innovative, sustainable products. Anyways, moving on, the next things I got were actually stolen from my brother and I'm wearing them now. We thrifted this turtleneck and pants for him in 2019, but he never wore them, so I took them. My mom helped me hem the pants and I'm absolutely in love. I definitely felt like the main character when I was wearing this outfit in a vintage store. The next thing I got were some socks in December. I'm super particular about the brand and I always get the same ones. I've tried other ones before and I just couldn't wear them because they didn't feel the same. I actually ended up ordering these from Amazon, which I tried to avoid, but my mom was getting a phone case from there and needed to make the free shipping minimum. I also had some old Amazon credit from a few years ago, so we were just cashing out of the money Amazon already had. In the same month, I also finally found this specific pair of Sunita running shorts for sale in a Facebook group. I'd been wanting them for over half a year and almost bought them new a couple times, but I didn't really need them and the brand doesn't offer any info on sustainability and ethics. So I was really excited to find them used in this group. I also got this band tee for $8 from a vintage store. I actually didn't want to buy this, but the store had a minimum credit card limit of $10 and I only wanted three records for $3. I do like the design though, and I will definitely be wearing it now that I have it. The band's music is also pretty good, so I discovered some new music. And the very last thing I got were two pairs of underwear from a sustainable and size inclusive brand called Nikki. I'm working on a blog post about sustainable underwear brands and they sent these over for me to try. While I try to buy most clothing used, underwear is the one thing that a lot of us probably want new. I actually haven't gotten any new underwear in like three years, so it was time. 
I like how the products ship directly in the box so there's no plastic and the underwear itself is also made from certified organic cotton. I'll link to the blog post when it's finished. I'll also link to the site down below. That wraps up all the clothes I bought this year. In total, I spent $178 on clothes, not including the gifted items from brands for collabs. And when you do include those, that adds up to $273. I'm pretty proud of how this year turned out as I definitely got less than last year and I was also able to support some small businesses. I hope this video gave you a realistic peek into the closet of someone who's passionate about slow fashion. Let me know how you felt about your purchases this year and thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you around next time.